A man goes to the headquarters of a large company to meet two people. He takes out a chainsaw and then puts it away again a few minutes later, unused. The CEO gladly pays the man a large fee. Why? I'll say that again. A man goes to the headquarters of a large company to meet two people. He takes out a chainsaw and then puts it away again a few minutes later, unused. The CEO gladly pays the man a large fee. Why? Okay. Now, the man is from I'll Show You My Chainsaw for a Dollar Corporation, <laughs> and he's just doing his service. I mean, I feel like you should start that. <laughs> like, that's a, that's a Twitch stream you can get some donations on there. Absolutely, because I reckon modern business books say the way you motivate your staff is by showing them a chainsaw. And then they come in, your staff see a chainsaw, they're like, that was brilliant. I love a chainsaw. Back to work. Oh, I thought you were just threatening them with the chainsaw. You, you were actually just <laughs> motivating them by, this is really cool. Look at my chainsaw. Yeah, people, people appreciate a good chainsaw. Uh, that is the opposite of thinking actually. Yeah, right is, was this a scheduled meeting? Do they plan on having this meeting? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they may have been surprised by the chainsaw, but the meeting was scheduled. Okay. Scheduled how far in advance? I had one crazy idea, but <laughs> the advanced scheduling of it would, would ruin what I think it is. Um, I, I'll go for it anyway. Yeah, I'll go for it anyway. My idea is that perhaps the, the person paying this fee wanted to be scared and wanted to be scared by a chainsaw. And I was thinking maybe they had the hiccups and the shock would sort of you know, shock the hiccups out of them and they're like gladly paying the fee to get rid of their hiccups. But if they're scheduling this long in advance, I'm not sure that would work. But what if that is, what if it was one partner wanted to scare the other? And so he had, he planned for the guy to pull the chainsaw out and paid him later. It wasn't so much about terror or hiccups, but you are, you're not, you're not close. <laughs> let, let me, let me be clear. You're, you're not close. <laughs> But there is a certain amount of nervousness about what's going on. Yes. Chainsaws quite precise. Chainsaws are <laughs> known for cutting down trees for Texas massacres. <laughs> and that is that is all. That is their entire two use cases. There is nothing else. So why a chainsaw? Why do you reckon a chainsaw? I'm thinking about nervousness inside of a headquarters. Like that makes me think of a businessman is sort of involved here. And, and I'm thinking in terms of business, you might yep. be scared of public speaking or um, some kind of uh, meeting you need to hold. And that could be a reason you want to be scared out of it, scared out of your anxiety. I don't know if that would work. Um, Do you reckon they're, they're in the um, adrenaline business? You know, you dial them in and be like, you know, you just need that <laughs> dose of something to do this talk. They don't tell you how, but they turn uh, up. And they... Yeah, thrill seekers. <laughs> yeah. Keep you on edge. Just yeah. that, that dose. I don't know how nervousness would fit into it, but would it be something where this meeting, there would be a reason this person would always have a chance on them. It could have been about landscaping, whatever it may be, but it's just randomly these two people needed a tree cut down in front of their office and he did it for them and he got paid for it? Oh, no, no, nothing actually got cut here. And, and okay. Matthew, you said one partner scaring another. You're right that one of them is the CEO. Okay. Who's the other one? I reckon it's the chainsaw appreciator <laughs> role that all companies have. The deputy junior vice chainsaw appreciator. Head of HR. HR loves chainsaws in, in, the, in the office place. So we've got a chainsaw coming to an office for a meeting bit of adrenaline, bit of fear, bit of bit of action. It's not actually clear from this from this anecdote that I've got. It's not clear whether the CEO knew there was going to be a chainsaw involved. Okay. Is there are they proving they've done something? So for example, that like is the chainsaw a piece of evidence, a documenting like you said blah blah blah. Well, here's the proof. Here's the here's the evidence. The chainsaw would be not evidence in itself, but if it had ended up being used, uh, yeah, that would have that would have definitely proved something one way or another. All right, but it is it is meant to scare this person for a, a gain. This is not just like a Halloween prank where they just had somebody just like come as something scary, and you happen to come as uh, you know Texas Chain Leatherface. No, it's a very deliberate demonstration here. It could have been a few other things. Uh, it didn't have to be specifically a chainsaw, but it had to be something that uh, that could do a bit of damage. Is it something about the response of the person seeing it in the sense that they wanted to scream or be able to, like, <laughs> I don't know, if they're an actor or something, record a genuine uh, scream or emotion? Oh, the other person isn't the one being threatened directly, but they'd still be nervous about what might happen. 
are they trying to protect other people? So it could be some kind of a drill, like how do you respond in a high stress environment? Yeah, the stress isn't specifically from the chainsaw there, but you're getting quite <laughs> close. What might they have needed to test or wanted to test or check? Response time. It's the only thing I could think of. Specifically, he's the head of IT. So, so if this person were to actually use the chainsaw and cut their data lines, how would you have a backup or be able to get our information back? That's very close. It's not the data lines, but you pretty much there. What, what might this consultant have turned up with the chainsaw and threatened to do? To disconnect a power line, to say that the um, uninterruptible power supply will work. The, the IT guy's been saying, we're, we're off the grid. Don't worry. If the power goes down, we're fine. And the CEO is like, really? I'm going to get old mate with a chainsaw and we'll see if your stuff survives. <laughs> yes, that's basically what it was. You're absolutely right. Uh, right. The CEO wasn't sure whether the backup servers would actually work. He called in an IT consultant and the IT consultant, John Honeyball, decided to turn up with a chainsaw and ask, what would happen if I just went through this server? And the CEO said, I don't know, try it. And the head of IT goes, no, I'm not sure we want to do that. I said, Why? We've got a backup system. And the head of IT is nervous enough that it proves that he is not entirely certain that the backup system is going to work. Can I say exceptional consultant? Oh my goodness, that's how you get that. That's what that's what the fees are for. Every time you're hiring them, they're buying chainsaws. So that's why they're so expensive. <laughs> 